Hi, welcome to Indie Insights. I'm your host, Dirk Norris from the New Mexico Film Foundation. And my guests this week are Jason Cedillo and Troy, um, Troy, Troy Taylor. Um, I don't know, it's a, I tripped up on the second names. And uh, <laughs> Anyway, um, Jason, um, you, you're always uh, dapper looking everywhere you, you go. Thank you. Um, and you are like so many of our uh, independent filmmakers, you have slash titles. You've done just about everything in the film industry. Um, but most recently, um, you and Troy have formed a, a company together. Um, give us a little bit of your background in, in film here in New Mexico. I started off with the After After Party show with Steve Marcosada, uh, being a production assistant from there, I've gone on to various positions as lighting, grip, standing in photo double cast, casting assistant. I mean, you name it, I've gone down the, the list, you know. Right. So. I, have they all been enjoyable, or or do you keep looking for that one thing that really does it for you? I love it all. <laughs> there, I have I have not yet to have a bad day on a set, and I've been in it for over two and a half years. Right, right, terrific. So. Troy, give us your background. Yes, um, been here in New Mexico for two and a half years. Came strictly for the um, acting industry, so went out to LA, studied out there for six months, uh, and then decided to come here and make my start out here compared to there. Um, and I've done everything from standing roles, a few stunts, uh, background featured, speaking roles on a few things, student projects, up to the major feature films. So, well, one of excellent. the nice things that's been happening in the in the last year or two is um, an increasing opportunity for act actors. I think we have a long, long way to go. But um, so uh, there have been a number of television series here. There have been yes. a number of films being made. Give us some yeah. of, of the things you've been in. Yeah, um, did um, Night Shift. Mm -hmm. uh, did an episode on Breaking Bad their last season. So it was kind of nice to <laughs> jump in on the <laughs> right. final portion yeah. of that. Um, I've done um, several different movie projects. Uh, can't think of the other TV series off the top of my head. But. Right, right. Uh, so how did you guys uh, meet and, and eventually decide to work together? Uh, we met through the in industry. Uh -huh. um, some of the 48-hour projects that we've done, we've uh, seen each other in passing on a couple different projects, movie projects. Um, and at one of the 48 hours, we just kind of started talking about some of the things we were doing in the process of the 48-hour project. Right. And just how, you know, it's nice to be able to be able to do something and implement it. Most of the projects that are here, uh, student-led, have been phenomenal. We have some really great actors here, but one of the challenges is um, a lot of the feature films are still looking for us for background actors here in New Mexico, but they're bringing in most of the speaking roles from other places. Right. Um, so in the midst of us talking and just wanting a, an opportunity to make something happen here in New Mexico with other resources, with other uh, people we have that we know, friends, uh, we decided to go ahead and start this project ourselves. So one, we can compete with the, uh, starting off with the nation, mm -hmm. but then be able to compete with the world to let them see that, you know, New Mexico not only has great actors that can do stuff, but we have other people in positions, camera, uh, grips, you know, lighting, uh, people behind the scenes that don't get the advantage to always be out there up front and get their name out there, but that they can do, you know, just as well as anyone else coming in from L.A. or New York. Right. Um, so that's kind of what, where we decided to go with this. And make that economic impact. That's our, our biggest goal right now. Yeah, give people I, those opportunities that they're not getting. I, I fully believe with, with companies like yours and, and others, um, as we grow the industry from within New Mexico and give the, the men and women who live here an opportunity to make films, um, you know, it's wonderful that we can get Hollywood coming here and making films, but um, I think we really need to grow that industry from within. Um, and instead of, um, you know, Hollywood coming here, shooting and going home and doing post-production, you're making a film right here, so you're hiring the guy down the street to do the post-production. Yes. Yes. Uh, have you had the idea for this company in, uh, for a while, or did it develop out of talking with it's Troy? Or? kind of developed. Uh, you know, I loved films since I was a little kid, and I've always wanted to able to do more films and I know the opportunities here are pretty tough just to even get those so we wanted to create something ourselves and that's just something that him and I had discussed and the more we discussed it the more that passion grew and the fire within and we just thought we'd go forward with it. 
Um, Troy, with, with um, kind of being involved in this company, um, do you see being able to create more roles for yourself? Um, are, are you, do you do any writing? Um, um, I don't do any writing, mm -hmm. but definitely more roles for myself. But um, one of the things, especially with what our vision is, it encompasses a team. It's mm -hmm. not just about us individually. It's about bringing everyone alongside us to be able to make sure we're all reaching our dreams together. Right. Um, so yeah, definitely creating more roles uh, so that way, hopefully, we don't get pigeonholed <laughs> yeah. in certain roles. Because uh, right. being African American, yeah. you know, there are certain roles that they definitely want to call me for. Right. Um, right. But definitely, I want to be able to have the opportunity to be versatile, um, both in front of the camera as well as behind the camera, learning, you know, the aspects of all of the different departments, and being able to just understand and know when I'm in front of the camera how to help the other person that's doing lighting or, you know, sound to be able to be able to bring the best out of that. That I can. Right, right. Um, real quickly, Jason, um, tell us who else is um, part of your uh, company. We have quite a few people, so too many to name right, right offhand, but okay. uh, we're all going to be training everybody, even with background actors coming in to work with us, we're going to be training them as well. As same thing with the crew, everything beyond. Uh, uh, what you guys are, are doing, I think, is really wonderful. Um, so um, thanks very much for um, doing that, and thanks for being on the show this week. And yes. you, you can find us on Facebook at Dream to Achieve Entertainment LLC and Twitter and Instagram Excellent. and also a website. So. Thanks very yes. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for the opportunity. You've been watching Indie Insights. I'm your host, Dirk Norris, and we'll get back to the movie.